In Japan, most people are either Shinto or Buddhists. However, in Japan there are approximately 500,000 Catholics. The Catholic Church was established in Japan around 1500 by a man of the name St. Francis Xavier, who was a European missionary who came to Japan to teach people about Catholicism and Christianity. However, there were other Euro European missionaries that also went to Japan to teach about Christianity and Catholicism. My story today isn't about St. Francis Xavier. It's going to focus on St. Paul Miko, who was a Japanese person with a very fascinating life. St. Paul Miko was born in 1654. His parents decided they wanted to be Catholic and they also decided that they wanted him to be Catholic. His father wanted him to grow up strong in the Catholic faith, so they sent him off to a Catholic school that was run by the Jesuit brothers. Because the Jesuits were his teachers, St. Paul was greatly influenced by them and later on in life joined the Jesuits. And he eventually became a Jesuit priest. During his studies to become a priest, the Japanese government started realizing that there were too many Japanese people converting to Catholicism. The government got worried that too many people were becoming Catholic and too many people were coming from Europe and that they would end up taking control over Japan. So the government decided on December 26, 1596 to arrest 26 Catholics and throw them in jail. Those 26 Catholics were St. Paul Miko, two other Jesuits, five Franciscans that were from Spain, as well as some Franciscans from Mexico. Also, there were 15 different lay people that were not priests or nuns that were also arrested. They were simply Japanese Catholics. And out of those 15, there were three younger people. There were two 13-year-olds and a 12-year-old. The Japanese court ordered them to be put to death by crucifixion in the city of Nagasaki. And the reason they wanted it done in Nagasaki was that Nagasaki was a very populated city with a lot of Catholics. They were hoping that if those Catholics in Nagasaki saw these Catholics put to death, that they would end up causing people to leave the Catholic Church. Before the 26 were killed, they were put into a boat by soldiers and they were measured for their height. The reason they measured them for their height was to make sure that they could build the crucifixes the, to the appropriate size because some were adults and some were children. They were all loaded into the boat and headed to Nagasaki. When they got off in Nagasaki, they noticed crowds of people. They were shouting things at them, ridiculing them. However, there were Catholic people there as well saying, don't give up, keep on to your faith. And they were so inspired that they started singing, we praise you, Lord, our God. And the Catholic people in the crowd joined in the singing as well. They sang this song every Sunday in Mass. Holy, holy, Lord of angels, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna in the highest. They sang that as they marched all the way up to the top of the hill. At the top of the hill, the general of the army was waiting for all of them. He told them that the government would forgive them and pardon them if they would renounce Jesus 
renounce Christianity, and renounce the Catholic faith. All 26 answered with a resounding no. So he ordered them to be crucified and put to death. Each of the prisoners began looking for their own crucifix. The children knew right away which ones were theirs because they were smaller in size. The soldiers started binding their hands and feet to the crucifixes with ropes and straps, and then they were hoisted up. All of them hung there, some people in the crowd shouting at them, shouting insults, while others in the crowd were saying, don't give up, keep your faith, soon you'll be in heaven, and all 26 started singing, praise God. While Paul was on the cross, he felt an inspiration and started speaking to the crowd, saying, I've done nothing wrong or against the Japanese government. I love my country. Jesus said we must forgive our enemies, and I am not angry with the government. I forgive them. I pray and hope that the government, plus all of the people of Japan, can become Catholic. I'm looking forward to meeting Jesus. And then the general ordered him to be killed immediately. So the soldiers started jabbing him and poking him, and he died. All 26 of them died. They became martyrs. People in the crowd who were shouting stopped and all of a sudden felt an inspiration. And what happened? Many of them ended up joining the Catholic Church, and it grew. Where all 26 of them died on that hill that day, later on a church was built where people come to worship and pray. In 1981, Pope John Paul II went and prayed there. It's possible that the story of St. Paul Miko and the other 25 saints inspires us, that we always want to feel the love of God and that we love the Catholic Church. And it's possible that God helps us to stay strong and to keep our faith. May God bless you.